Hey guys, how is it going? Uh, we've obviously returned to Belgrade, to Serbia a couple of weeks now, I think, from Portugal and we've been slowly, slowly kind of getting back to our routines uh, not that we had a, I don't know, drastically different lifestyle in Portugal because Alexander still worked like full-time, I worked a little bit but um, I was going to the ocean all the time and uh, meeting my friend, uh, friends actually whom I haven't seen for a long time so this was like um, not a real holiday because I was still working a bit but still and um, yeah ever since we returned to Serbia we've been doing nothing much my mom was here because she was obviously babysitting Cookie and we were just going here and there mostly enjoying the nice weather outside when it's warm but not hot you're not sweating but you can enjoy yourself being outside you can style yourself a little bit nicely and just enjoy the parks and the benches and all that and I didn't feel much over the past couple of weeks but here's a quick 20 second recap of what we were up to So there's that and now I, I've i been weirdly craving banana pancakes lately I guess there's nothing weird about it because they're delicious but I've cooked them two maybe three times already and I'm about to do it now again and it's actually lunchtime so I should get some proper food instead but I'm gonna you know pancakes nutritious healthy food mm, I don't know what to choose <laughs> yeah I am in bed watching YouTube at 4 o'clock on a weekday and no, I am not ashamed of myself but I wanted to quickly um, chat with you about the fact that it's actually been 6 months that uh, Alexandra and I have lived in Serbia so we've moved here uh, a bit more than 6 months ago now and we realized that on our trip to um, to Portugal we were staying in Budapest for one night and as we were crossing the border to Hungary I realized that that's like exactly the day that we've moved to Serbia um, exactly six months ago like on this very day but six months before which was shocking honestly because and I don't even know why because obviously we, we kind of knew that we lived here for a while but also because we stayed just in Belgrade um, for all that time it I think like the, our perception of the time was a bit different so the time went a bit faster 
And uh, it's now around 11 months that we've not been back home in St. Petersburg. And for the first five months, we've changed like a billion countries. We've spent a month in Serbia. We also went to Novi Sad. Then we moved to Europe and we started with um, Italy. Then we went to Switzerland, then to Germany, then to uh, Belgium, France, South of France. Well, it's the same country, right? And then we went back to Serbia. And in those trips, we were also changing like cities or just apartments. So we were, it was a lot of moving, you know, a lot of change. And I think that's why this kind of traveling period, it feels like um, a whole lifetime <laughs> on its own. And then six months here don't feel the same because we've obviously just stayed in one place. We've had a good time uh, here so far. And I think Serbia and Serbians were quite welcoming in general. We were very lucky and blessed. And we found this apartment and um, kind of started building a life here, really. And it, it feels like home, which is weird, uh, but also understandable because we've been here for quite a long time already. And so far I've done just one um, Serban course. I feel... I know embarrassingly little <laughs> Serbian after that, and I don't know what it is. I kind of really like studying in general, and during the class, I would, you know, be fully engaged and things like that. But then back home, um, it was more like of an afterthought, really. I didn't practice that much um, just by myself. Also, I barely leave the house. If I do, it's to walk with Cookie or Alexandra or both. I don't really speak Serbian with anyone and also I know like I'm wearing headsets all the time listening to audiobooks and I know that I should maybe try you know just walking around kind of creeping listening to what people are talking about just trying to get used to the language to maybe try to understand it a bit not because I I care what people are talking about but just as a practice you know and uh, yeah I didn't do that um, I, I kind of know some things but I because I didn't practice at all and yeah, I don't. I think I think like it was. It was not a waste, but I definitely didn't didn't learn as much. But also, it's just my own fault. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue with Serbia a bit later, um, but not for now. And we've also not traveled around Serbia yet. Besides Novi Sad, of course, we want to really go somewhere in the mountains. Or hold on, let me just change, switch the arm because this one's getting tired. Just travel somewhere um, in the forest, you know, in in the mountains, somewhere where. There's, there are no people, maybe rent a cute house, stay there for a bit, but we haven't done that. And also, we like, I don't know, we don't have a car here, maybe we can rent and drive uh, so that we can take Cookie with us, no problem. But yeah, it, it feels weird. It's it's like, I'm really happy that I've ended up in Belgrade, because I, I like the city, I like the people, I feel comfortable here again. Um, but obviously, I miss my home a lot, and I... Pff, I miss my home, my pre-war home, you know, I miss the world where there was no war, obviously, so that's kind of tough, um, but yeah, so it's a bit of bittersweet feeling. Yeah, so I wanted to share that, don't know if anyone needed that, probably not, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, time flies really fast, it's crazy, um, yeah, in another six months it's going to be a year that we'll live in here, and I'm sure it's going to be here like this, which is weird. All right, I'm going to go back to my YouTube, I'll see you later. <laughs>